Hi guys, welcome back. It's UK here. Um, earlier today, I watched a vid from uh, The Outsiders uh, 68, uh, aka Sean Connors, um, with regards to dice rolling. Um, where he talks about rolling the dice out in the open or behind the screen. Um, I have always been of the point of view that the GM should roll his dice behind the screen. Um, there's a couple of reasons why. Uh, one is kind of the mystery of it. You know, uh, you, you have to have a group of players that are going to trust the GM isn't going to A, fudge rolls, uh, or B, just, you know, pick on player characters or what have you. Um, but there's the mystery because you don't know what's rolled, you don't know what the GM's doing behind that screen. Sometimes the GM just rolls a dice for no reason, you know. Um, and the second thing I think is is also tied into the mystery element, but it's uh, I think I suppose I would put it down to uh, a part of meta gaming. Uh, for example, let's have this, uh, this particular thing: you're uh, running the game and you're running a combat. The GM rolls the dice behind the screen and says <coughs> something along the lines of, and the Orc Chieftain swings his battle axe at um, Ashen's uh, neck, hoping to decapitate him. But at the last moment, Ashen raises his shield and deflects the axe, allowing him a chance to strike back uh, at the Orc. You roll the dice, you know, and you've, the uh, GM has failed to hit. But you've put it into the description. Now you have the same thing, exactly the same description, but you roll the dice in the open, and you know. Uh, whereas before the players went, "Whew, that was lucky." Now they go, "You roll a six. That's nowhere near my armor class. Not a problem." Plus, we know he's only got a plus three bonus. Uh, you know, um, and then they start uh, adapting because they know the modifiers. It's why I also keep armor classes uh, secret. Let the players work them out through their roles. Uh, but yeah, if you have the sort of encounter where, you know, let's say something slightly big that's got a bit a better modifier, you're out in the open, they go, oh, that beastie of the uh, Underdark has got a plus seven. Quick, send the fighter in to deal with this because he's got the better armor class. We'll deal with the little grimly things. Um, you know, they might not have done that had they not seen the dice. Um, so I think for me, rolling behind the screen uh, keeps that air of mystery and keeps the game interesting um, and uh, causes, you know, eventually players are going to work out, as I said, because they're going to work out through their own roles on armor classes and they're going to work out for themselves how um, uh, easier it is, difficult it is for the monsters to hit them. Um, but you know, that's just my take on it. I, um, you know, it's one of those things with uh, role playing. Whichever way you look at it, you know, people can have different opinions. I always think that the GM should hide the roles, unless there is something that you know, for whatever reason, you really need to do it out in the open. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Then all roles should be hidden from the players. They don't need to see the GM's roles. Anyway, that's just my thought on it. Uh, I'd like to see what you think as well. And uh, there's my phone again. Uh, and uh, check out Sean's video, and uh, until next time, take care, good gaming.